guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from NFGC. How's it going? All right, so this is going to be a yin reading for February the 25th until March the 4th. I hope you're all doing well. And just a reminder, I am selling my cards. All right, so um, I have reduced the price to 75. Uh, it used to be 100, you know, or you could uh, still do it this way. Um, you know, pay the 100 and then you get a, a reading on top of that. So there is a deal there as well. Um, but it is 75, which includes uh, shipping, except in Canada, there is an extra charge um, just because it's doubled for some reason in Canada. Um, it's cheaper to send to Australia than it is to send to, you know, um, Nova Scotia, <laughs> just on the other side of Canada. So, yeah, I'm going to do a split elemental. Um, so the way I'm going to do it is... So each position has a is associated with a different element. So I'm going to pull a card and I'm going to place it, um, the card in the position that reflects that element. Um, and I'm going to keep pulling the cards until all the positions are filled. So it sounds a little confusing, but you'll see what I mean in a minute. Okay, so let me just shuffle it one more time down here. So if you want to order, it's sherry at hotmail.com and the link is in the description box below. All right, so let's begin. So I'm going to pull the cards first and then we'll, we'll go through each position. Um, and if a chakra pull, um, shows up, then I'm going to put it in the top row, okay? And that includes the 1111 card as well. All right, let's begin. So first card is the Ace of Pentacles. So that's going to go in the Earth position. Next. The Rebel, which is the Knight of Swords in the air position. Uh, House of Cards, which is fire. Uh, the King of Swords. And the Six of Cups. Well, you guys didn't get many cards. The Masculine Knife kept on pulling, pulling, pulling. Oh. Um, but very strong message came through. All right, so the bottom of the deck is going to re reflect your soul. The high priest. Okay, so the high priest, the masculine uh, kept getting the high priest as well. Now this is somebody who is a spiritual leader, um, who has you know the gr a certain group that they connect with that are like-minded. Um, your vibe tribe. Um, you know you found your light within, and you're sh you're shining brightly to guide other people into the darkness as well. Um, this could also represent divine guidance. So I almost want to pull one more card just to see what else is happening. Okay, the Three of Swords is a broken heart. Um, so, you know, there was a sense that you are being surrounded by some negative energy. The Three of Swords did show up for you. No, actually the Four of Swords showed up for you um, in the near future. So you're healing. Um, but there's a sense of awareness that whatever is being projected at you isn't you, isn't your garbage. It belongs to somebody else. So allow negative energy just to bounce off of you and stay aware. Um, and, you know, just by being in the present, being in the now, it awakens other people as well. When you don't react, that teaches somebody else a very valuable lesson right they they realize they can't trigger you trigger you and when they can trigger you that means they can control you so even though there's negative energy there um i feel that you are definitely aware of it so in the emotional space we have the reunion card this keeps on showing up this is what the fourth time now um so there's a desire for reunion just plain and simple emotional this is what I want I want reunion I want to reconnect um, 
you know, there's somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood, uh, but it is very innocent, uh, gentle, um, you know, very deep energy. Just one moment. Sorry, you can hear my daughter laughing in the background. I apologize. Um, okay, yeah. So, well, actually, this card represents that kind of energy, right? Children laughing, playing. Um, it's memories of the past. Um, but, you know, don't focus on those memories. Um because rare, they rarely, you know, turn out the way that you had hoped. Um, just like the message that was coming from the masculine side, you know, don't get lost in the reverie. Um, yeah, anyway, let's continue on. So in the mental space, we have the rebel as well as the ice king. So we got, you know, two core cards here. So this could represent a younger person um, who is also kind of a free spirit, a rebel without a cause. They, um, they fight for justice, but they'll fight for anybody. They're also um, social butterflies. They love to talk. Um, the energy is in, out very quickly. You can't tie them down. They're also thrill seekers as well. Adrenaline junkies. So very scattered energy coupled with the ice king. Now the, the um, masculine had the king of swords, but this reading really is pertaining to the feminine aspect. So um, she could be taking on the Ice King energy or someone could come to her. Um, or there could be some communication with a younger person. Um, or, you know, an older man might um, come to the feminine and say something that makes her feel a little scattered. It could be two different people or it could mean that where there was scattered energy and confusion, you know, um, there's then mental clarity, action, and control. I think what the feminine wanted was control and movement forward, uh, but there's a sense that both aspects are going to feel stuck in the mud. Um, but, it's, yeah, I'm almost feeling like there's clarity to a situation. <clears throat> Okay, so spiritually, she got the house of cards. So spiritually, there's illusions that are coming down. Um, she may have attached herself to something in the past, which is where the three of swords is coming from. And she realizes that she needs to cut some things out of her life, um, let some things go, um, you know, because of that awareness, um, you know, that, that, that consciousness that is kind of staring at us from the reading right now. It's like she's aware, very consciously aware of what's happening, even though, you know, things may be happening around her, the tower is falling. Um, she is aware that it's going to be for her best interest. So anything that was built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down. So something may happen out of the blue. Um, that will shake your reality, you know, but there's awareness behind it. There's an understanding. Um, and remember the message was, you know, if you're feeling stuck, not to struggle because you get, you're going to get deeper, stuck deeper. So in the physical, we have the seed of intention, which is the Ace of Pentacles. So this is an idea being planted. So there's an opportunity, a gift that may be offered, it may come in out of the blue, um, there will be some spiritual insight or inspiration that comes from it. And I think you're being asked just to kind of not act on anything at the moment, but to observe, um, you know, really think hard about what you want to do if that makes any sense for you. All right, so let me pull a final message from the universe. And I think I'm going to use Romance Angels. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart uh, to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, yeah, questions. Um, 
we saw that questioning in the twin flame reading, right? Remember she had the six of swords, the five of swords. Um, there is clarity and commitment in terms of the union, but there's a lot of things happening around her that is preoccupying her mind. Um, and I think is it safe to love? I don't even really think it's about the mask. And I think it's, you know, can I trust these people around me? Something's happening to her with the tower here. All right, so it says, you're safe to love, open your heart and give, okay? So this card indicates that you're protecting your heart from hurt because of painful relationship experiences, yes. However, the angels can only bring as much romance as you'll allow inside. If you have a shield around your heart, how is love going to get in? A closed heart repels the sensitive partner you're trying to attract. So following the inner guidance will protect you and simultaneously allow you to feel loved and um, loving. So remember at the heart space for the twin flame reading, it was, you know, you are protected, you are safe. So there is a sense of a guarded heart for sure. Um, and, and the four swords kind of points to that as well. So trust your intuitive senses and respect to other people's trustworthiness and open your heart to those who are kind and gentle. Ask for angels to bring caring individuals, including a romantic partner into your life, and they'll do so, provided that you listen to and follow their guidance. So yeah, listen to and follow guidance. But I think this broken heart is kind of staring you guys in the face right now. So there's definitely some healing that needs to happen before you can really allow love um, in. And remember, you had that Queen of Cups in the near future with the four swords so we will see that healing energy um, coming in for you all right guys i do hope this helped um, please like share and subscribe right cheers